Hello, I'm Matt, and welcome to Badger Workshop. I had a sled for making picture frames before, but I've changed table saws, and of course the slots don't line up, so I've got to make another one. The first thing to do is to make some hardwood runners. They need to be able to slide through the slots, but tight enough not to have any real play in them. I don't want the runners to be resting on the bottom of the slots, so first I put in some scrap pieces and then put the runners on top so they're sitting slightly proud of the table. As you can see I've got a 45 degree square attached to my fence. Now I can apply some CA glue to the runners. I've got some 18mm ply which I line against the fence at a 45 degree and have the corner of the wood right at the saw blade. When I'm happy with the position I can get some weight on it and just leave it for the glue to dry. I gave the glue about half an hour to dry as it was pretty damn cold in my workshop but when it had dried I wanted to fix the runners in place a little better so I drilled and countersunk some holes and then I could drive some screws in. As I say I've made one of these before. I got the idea watching Frank House video and then David Pesciuto does a really good series on picture framing so I recommend you check that out if you want to make one yourself. With the runners on I got them into the track and cut about 10 inches into the sled. It slid nice and smoothly with no play, but I think I could use a roller stand to give a bit of extra support. The sled needs two fences at it, at a 45 degree angle to each other, so I got an aluminium ruler to cut it down to the right length. The ruler needs to be held off the top of the sled by a bit, so I cut down some thin plywood for it to sit on. I cut a 45 degree angle to match the ruler on the end of the plywood and then got the CA glue back out to attach them together. After the glue had set I drilled some holes so I could attach it to the sled. Drilling holes in a ruler is nice and easy because you can get the spacing accurate. I ran a bead of wood glue along it and then it could be attached to the sled. It needs to be perfectly parallel to the edge of the sled, so I set a combination square to the right distance. I put a screw in, and then I could keep moving the square down, putting more screws in, so it's an equal distance all the way down. With that fence attached, the second one needs to go on, and this needs to be exactly 45 degrees from the first one. These two fences adding up to a 45 degree angle is key for the sled to work. So I checked multiple times and then glued and screwed it in place. Why I've got the ruler sat on a bit of wood higher up and overhanging is so I can make a stop block for it. So I cut down a piece of wood with a groove so it'd be able to slide under the ruler. The stop block needs a 45 degree angle cut on it so that the piece of picture frame can butt up against it. I've got one of these little toggle clamps I'm going to mount that to the stop block so I can secure it and lock it in place. Unfortunately my bed of wood for the stop block is too thin to get some screws into. So I drilled some holes for some bolts and then some slightly bigger holes so the heads of the bolts would be recessed. I can push the bolts through, get the clamp on and tighten everything down. It all looks like it's going to work quite well. That's it all done for now. Next time, I'll actually show you how it works and make a frame. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe for more videos.